All right, what's going on everybody? Super excited for today's video. We're gonna be unboxing and reviewing Mason Alhambras, which is a, a kind of an offshoot of Latafa brand, uh, Blue de Chance, Eau de Parfum. So for those of you who don't know, Mason Alhambra is, like I said, it's, it's sort of one of the under companies of, um, of Latafa, which is a clone brand. And as you can tell by the box and uh, by the name, this is gonna be a clone, it's their newest clone of Bleu de Chanel by Chanel, which was released in 2010. Um, so yeah, super excited. You guys know I love Blue de Chanel. It's, it's arguably the best blue fragrance, the best uh, super versatile fragrance out there, and one of the best fragrances in general for men out there. Um, very favorite, uh, a favorite, personal favorite of mine. So anytime I can get my hands on a new clone of it, uh, I'll, I'll definitely give it a try. Um, and yeah, Mason Alhambra has been going off lately. I don't know if you guys have been Watching all the videos of they, they're doing tons of Tom Ford dupes. They're doing a ton of, ton of new dupes are coming out. Just, they're just banging them out and they're good too. Like a lot of the, the Tom Ford ones, I already own a couple of them and they're like solid fragrances. So yeah, let's see what this, uh, what this brings. This was around $35, I believe, uh, at a discounter. And this one's a little harder to find. You can't find it at uh, FragranceNet. You can't find it on FragranceBuy.ca, uh, which are my usual two go-to discounters. So I actually ended up ordering this from La Belle Perfumes. Uh, it was my first order from them, and it shipped in like three days. So quick shipping, decent price. I might actually be buying more from them uh, in the future. So yeah, so on the front we have Blue de Chance, Eau de Parfum, it's a little bit embossed, which is nice. Uh, and then it has the Mason Alhambra, their little stag, sort of a uh, insignia on there. And then uh, on, the, on the back you have a sticker that's sort of that iridescent classic Mason Alhambra. So, here is the container. Oh, cap came off. And it looks a lot like a, uh, a Chanel bottle, I will say. You know, the classic rounded, chan uh, rounded edge, beveled edge, uh, square Chanel bottle. It says Blue de Chance on it. A uh, nice little sticker that's pressed into it, so it's, it's uh, painted on, sorry. Um, and then this is a 100 mil, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, 100 mil. So, not bad actually, as far as presentation. I like the, uh, I like the bottle. I think it looks really nice. The cap has a decent weight to it. Um, it is plastic and then it has like a little uh, metal, sort of a metallic sticker on top. So not, not the heaviest and nicest and of course it's not magnetic like the actual Blue de Chanel has. Um, and then the collar itself and the atomizer are both metal. So that's pretty decent, decent uh, presentation. I would give that probably eight out of 10 presentation. So yeah, nothing crazy about the box. Um, I have, for comparison, I have the real Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette, the Eau de Parfum, and then I just ran over to Macy's the other day to get a little sample sprayer of the Parfum too, so we can kind of compare. Once I spray it onto here, we can compare which one it smells sim most similar to, and then I can get a, get a sort of a vibe of how close of a clone it is without having to just go off of memory, because I want to have you know the best content for you guys. So yeah, so let's, uh, let's give it a spray. We'll see what the atomizer is like. Uh, you know, for those of you who kind of forgot, uh, the OG Blue de Chanel has notes of pink pepper, uh, grapefruit, um, it has lemon in it, it has mint. Uh, those are the top notes. The middle notes are stuff like jasmine. Um, it has some sandalwood, some cedar in there. It has um, nutmeg in there. It has some incense down in the base. Um, it has a, it has a lot going on, but that's sort of what gives it that that uh, that blue vibe to it. And then it has, of course, amber and some of those sort of sweeter notes in the base as well. So let's give it a spray. It's an okay atomizer. I think it 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 sprays out a little too wide, so then it doesn't project as far. So uh, not a great atomizer, but that's okay. Let me give it one more spray, so you guys can kind of see. Oh, and right off of the bat, it's pretty close. It's definitely weaker, just from when I was spraying these ones. A 
Not as woody as the Eau de Toilette. Let's compare it to the Eau de Parfum. Not as sweet as the Eau de Parfum, but it's definitely closer to the Eau de Parfum. And then here's the Parfum. And the Parfum brings back sort of that nutmeg woodiness to it, that ISOE Super that we're so familiar with, that nice creamy cedar and sandalwood mix. They have the incense in there. I think it, it's kind of in between the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette for this one. It feels weaker though. Projection, I would say moderate to intimate, maybe moderate. And then longevity, I'm not sure. There's not even a Fragrantica page for this one. This was their, this is their new, you know, their new release. So um, I'll have to, I'll have to throw it in the comments uh, what the, what the longevity is like. But yeah, as far as projection, it's not as far projecting and, and as strong and powerful as um, Shades Blue by Armoth, if you guys know that one. Uh, reviewed that one a little while back. I think maybe the projection is on par or maybe a little worse than um, some of the other clones that are out there. Um, the smell itself is very pleasant. I think that they, they did a good blend of it and it's pretty similar. Like I would, like I said, kind of in between the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum, maybe 90% similar. So great value for the price. Um, I just wish that the projection was a little stronger. Let's try it on skin. Oh, okay. So off of skin, I get a little better, a little bit better projection. They did a good job with the grapefruit. It's not too harsh. Sometimes when they're using that methyl pamplemousse, it really just shoots out. Yeah, I would say that's about 90, 92% similar to, uh, to the actual Bleu de Chanel. So overall, I would probably give this a nine out of 10. I know I'm a little impartial. I'm, uh, you know, a little biased because Bleu de Chanel is probably my favorite fragrance of all time, uh, or at least definitely my top five. Um, but I think it's great for the price because if you're going for real Blue de Chanel, that's, it's really up there. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know this is a newer release, so it's sort of hard to get your hands on. Um, let me know what you think. I'll, I'll throw a link to the LaBelle perfumes. Um, I, I haven't, this is my first experience ordering from them. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description for you. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hey, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I really appreciate it. It, uh, it really helps the channel out. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.